cowboys have two knees and only one spur. They have two spurs. Two spurs. Well, my mistake. Both, you know, on their boots. Unrelated to their knees, actually. Well, if you're going to have boots. You need knees to use your spurs. That's true. No, you don't. What you don't you, think so? You, need, you can have sticks, and you can put them at the end of sticks, and you can hit stuff with them while using Is it a hands. spur now, or is that just like a, still a spur. spiky thing on a still stick? Still a spur. You, you take a spur off a boot, put it anywhere, still a spur. What if that was a thing? Like back in like... You know, like a joke. the old west. No, the old west when like you know someone got their legs decapitated, you know, or <laughs> their legs decapitated, <laughs> and they just, they put spurs at the end of their at like, the ends of their nubs. I went to like instantly. I went I went somewhere <laughs> completely opposite where I was thinking like the ice bucket challenge, and then back in the day they had the spur challenge, where you have to hide spurs for people and they'd sit on it. Like, oh, you got me. Ah, you got. God Before they it. had whippy cushions, yeah, we, used it, we used spurs. <laughs> we used spurs. Strips. Sp- spur under someone's ass, and they sit down and just freak out. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, God, Jesus. Yeah, little know. Timmy put a spur on you my You know, that again. started with the ninjas and their ninja stars. That's where it all started. Did it really? I don't know if there was a blend of the cultures. Oh, come on. You know, ninjas, cowboys ninjas, ninjas, ninjas and cowboys? I forgot cowboys. how much they hung out back ninjas, in the day. Ninjas, cowboys, and aliens. Oh, right. Pirates. That was a thing. And pirates. That was a thing. Yeah. Come on. What do you think was here before the dinosaurs? Uh, you know what? I, I haven't looked at my history, and but And then was the while. flu killed them, too. <laughs> that was four groups of people. You are either a pirate, a ninja, an alien, or a cowboy. There were no Done. ethnicities. No. Only those four Only qualities. Those four, four classes. Yes. You, you better choose wisely. I feel like those are qualities. Like, you and, you like you're born, you're like, ah, oh, he's going to be a great ninja. Yeah. Or a great cowboy. Yeah. But, like, what are the signs? Well, all right, for a ninja, <laughs> when the baby's born, it doesn't come out. It's behind you. Oh, it's already Whoa. hiding. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, where'd the baby go? Where'd the baby go? <laughs> with, with the cowboy, we already know. He has no knees. No knees. <laughs> spurs. You have to do knee surgery on all cowboys. Every so, single so they cowboy. all walk a little bow-legged. Ooh, that's why. That's literally that's the why. name yeah. of cowboy. He is a yeah. cowboy. Yep. Cowboy. Yep. The cow mm-hmm. man. Yep. Pirates, pirates are either cow. they can they have, they have they have three traits. They have three traits. Pirates uh-huh. are a little special. Uh-huh. They're either missing a limb, they're missing an eye, or they can talk to parrots. Yeah, I think all pi- I think all s- pirates can talk to parrots. Yeah. That's why they mm-hmm. sound so similar. Pirate parrot. Come on, mm-hmm. come on, mm-hmm. come on. Mm-hmm. That's why they go hand in hand. Sometimes yeah. you're born with a twin parrot. Wow. Yeah, but that would to, be cool. They have to put it under because it's a grotesque figure. You think aliens are considered like space pirates? Are they in that category? No, aliens Could are a little trickier. Could they band together with the pirates? Because I feel like aliens both. show up to the scene like they're not born. They they are, in fact, Aliens were always here. They've oh. always been here. Oh. They were never, like, born. They, they never just, They, they kind of, like, show like, up. Yeah. They just respond. I feel like, no, no, I feel like they come into town out of the tumbleweeds. They, they are like the tumbleweeds. T- yeah, they are the tumbleweeds. They, like, <laughs> yeah. roll out of a tumbleweed like an armadillo. So they just straight up somersault all the way into little Jimmy Town over there? Or right. they are armadillos. You ever see an armadillo? I'm pretty sure it's Yeah, armadillo. I love you ever armadillos. watched an armadillo do its I thing? Love, There's some crazy armadillos. Love armadillos, man. What do you oh, my God. Mean? We are finally talking about armadillos. <laughs> finally. You know how great armadillos are? Tell oh. me. Oh, um, they're fantastic. They're fantastic oh, little thank creatures. You. They're, oh, they're just <laughs> Now I know. <laughs> oh, they're fantastic. I didn't yeah. know before. I'm, yeah, I'm here to spread the knowledge on the great species of armadillo. Also, plenty of different species of armadillos. Go on. There's the, the red armadillo. Mm-hmm. There is the um, screaming hairy armadillo. Oh, wow. And I'm not even kidding. I think it's called screaming. Screaming the or screaming like shrieking armadillo. If I saw a shrieking like armadillo roll up into a ball, come at me, and then pop out, and be like, Rah! I'd be like, oh my god, it would be the worst thing. In I the know, world. but then like you can hug it. You can hug it. What do you mean? They're like made of armor. I yeah, but have you have never hugged a knight? Uh, I've sh- hugged a suit, a suit of, armor of armor and I get no. poked every time. No, I've never every hugged time, a suit of every armor. Every time I'm I've sorry. ever touched a suit of armor, I've been injured. Well, you you guys got to figure that shit out. That sounds like you're hugging that wrong. How do you guys hug? Do you guys hug wrong? With a firm embrace. Passionately. Yeah. Mm. Okay, at least sounds like you're doing a great job. Especially if I'm hugging a suit of armor. Why would you not embrace with all of your might with a suit of armor? That's the most passionate hug I could possibly imagine. Well, you can't because I'm so used to hugging armadillos. You can't embrace an armadillo with that much might. Armadillos? You just get that? That's my mind being blown. I'm a little late to the scene, but it's all right. <laughs> what the fuck do you mean? A little late to the scene. Have you're, you seen the? Um, you, you've been late to the scene. Imagine lately, if, actually. If, if I have some things to tell you real quick. What do you, you got for know. me? Well, one, the thing we just saw today, how the the high school we live next yeah. to, you just found out there's a big stuffed bear right inside. You've never seen that before. Giant bear, front door, done. 
You've seen it, right? No. You've never seen it either? You've what? never seen it? Oh, wow. Huge it's like really clear. Taxidermy bear. Gigantic on its two back legs, just mm-hmm. rawr, Once I graduated, rawr. I stopped looking in the front doors of high schools. Mm. To, it's be cl- not, to be oh clear. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's clearly on the way to the house on a whole straight road. You can't see, and it's a grizzly bear or something. Yeah, either way, the other thing that you've bear. been laid on was I talked to Sam about it. It was pretty funny. Am I pregnant? You might be. <laughs> I'm late. Yeah. How late am I? <laughs> You're like halfway there. No. <laughs> yeah, you're like almost. There. I can't go through this again. Yeah, man, you're like eleven months pregnant. You're halfway there. Eleven months. Oh, he's, there. Got a, yeah. <laughs> he's got a twenty-two month. I love a oh. two-year-old coming out of me. <laughs> yeah, man. And you'll never oh, know if it's a mate. cowboy, ninja, pirate. No, yeah, I will if know. it's behind me, or if it has no knees, or if it doesn't even show up at all because it's an alien. I don't mm-hmm. really know. You'll mm-hmm. have. To. Oh, that's how they're done. That's how. Is you done. have a pregnancy, and then. Nothing comes out. There's nothing behind you. Boom. Must have been an alien. Done. Mm -hmm. You got fucking done up in the sky, probed up. Yeah. Took Mm -hmm. the baby out. That's what a probe does, by the way. They suck babies out. Instantly. Instantly. Instant baby probe. (laughs) I know this. (laughs) (laughs) He's lost his baby twice to this. You keep talking about damn babies. It's hilarious. Anyway, the last thing I was going to say that you were late on, um, you want to just tell Sam what you told me about the... The cups arrangement. Remember how you told me how, like, I like how the cups just kind of oh. formed here. Like, the mugs on the second shelf, oh, yeah. the cups on the first shelf, yeah. and, like, the wine glasses on the third shelf. Yeah. Right? You thought that they was all kind just, of, Yeah, they all just got there. You thought they just magically appeared there? thought they just got there. It's due to um, certain, I would call it, like, an analness it's, of organization. Yeah, but that's that didn't just happen. Mm-mm. That's like been a thing. It has, it's been a thing. <laughs> it has manifested since before you were even since here. Since before I was even here. Yeah. Wow. Since before yeah. I was even here. Wow. Which was after him. But I think it just got so like, just it was just so intertwined at one point that it kind of just became, a, it was just whatever. You yeah. know, it just looked like whatever from the outside. But then one day I looked at it and it was so just cups, coffee mugs, wine glasses. And I was just this trip bamboozled. <laughs> So. Well, you know what? It's like when you told me that, I thought it was so funny. I was like, this guy just noticed that that's what the way it's supposed you to know. be. Because you probably came in when everything was intertwined, yeah. I, I guess, at one point. There was like, like a moment, just, and then you were imp- your impression. Yeah. His yeah. first impression was that the entire cover was mixed up. Well, imprinted. So. Imprinted. imprinted. Mm-hmm. Better way to put mm-hmm. it. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Yeah. That yeah. happens. You I know thought that was that. pretty funny. Imprint? Imprint Imprinting things. happens all the time. Yeah, you, you walk into a space, it. you see it, you're like, "Oh, this must be how it is." And you come next time, and they all change the whole thing, and you're like, "I'm not okay with this." That's true. Because we are actually not very good at change, which we like to think we are. But sometimes you like change. <laughs> yeah, but like the change that you have accepted. You know, like when you change your you room even, around. But before sometimes. you've even made the move, you've accepted that something's gonna change. But change when, is like fine, but like I hate true. carrying around in my pocket. It's like mm. that's why we have cards now. I know. Yeah, so we, we should have, have a change card. Dangerous. Just for your change. Just for your change. <laughs> it can only go up to ninety nine <laughs> you know cents. That's it, and then it goes to your other card. Is when you put your money in an account, <laughs> and I don't know when this started. But when you put your money in an account, it actually has a decimal value. So like on every dollar, there's like a point zero something, what? and the banks shave that off and make millions. Wow. I think that's what that movie was. Office Space. I have no idea. No. Oh, yes. Yeah. That, I think that's what that was movie yeah, about. He took the pennies he, off of every... He did the same thing. Like, the pennies off of every, like... Sale or some Sale or uh, check yeah. or something like that. And then transferred to it his own account. Yeah. And, and then just let it be. And then and they then, ended up... Like, they're thinking, like, oh, we'll get, like, $10,000 in, like, like, two years or something like that. So it's really slow, but it's free money. And then something happens, yeah, and they it, get, like, 200000 in, like, yeah. three days. And they're like, wow. oh, shit, we messed up. Yeah. 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 And then they burn the whole office to the ground. No, the stapler guy does. Well, you know. I can, I can I please have my stapler? <laughs> I need my stapler. I don't know this movie. That's my best impression of the guy. I'm sure it's It's on. really funny. Oh, the stapler guy. <laughs> can I please have my stapler? I'm going to burn this building to the ground. <laughs> it's a really good movie if you haven't seen it. Can it you imagine good. wanting to burn down a building for an inanimate object that Just, you could yeah. buy anywhere? Yeah, that's what he did. It was his special stapler. It like was like my red. fucking paper clip. God, I'm gonna burn this house down if I don't get my paper clip. Yeah, out. but at the end though, like if you really watch the movie, he wasn't doing it because of the stapler. Dude, people do that all the time with like lucky coins and shit. They keep their lucky coin on them, and they're like, "This is my lucky coin." I don't know if they're gonna burn the place to the ground, but like, 
people have those inanimate objects that they really would do some crazy shit for, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. You ever seen that? I mean, you've seen the show, My Strange Addiction. Yeah. Those people with the crazy fucking... That some guy had blown up dinosaurs or blown up pool floaties in his house that he would fucking die for. He would make love to these things. Whoa. Pool floaties, dude. His whole entire room was full mm. of them, and he took like some of them out to like dates, like lunch dates yeah, and stuff. Was, it was his like family. A, like an inflatable like, like a infl crocodile done. and an inflatable he, dinosaur. He had an inflatable, shark. Uh, oh, what was it? His main one was a pink one. It was like an inflatable dragon, I think it was. Oh, my God. But, yeah, he he loved it. He you would kiss them? it and make love to it. Yeah. Now, I, I'm sure he made love to it, but I would imagine they cut that part out of the show. Well, yeah, but, you know, he talked but about it. But it was it. the undertone. But he, t he definitely talked about it. Definitely. Man. Come on. You, you can't keep I that to that yourself. I've seen that episode where that guy fucks a car. He yeah, that's the thing. See? That's another thing. That's like, the thing. And he then just he, likes the... Like what he like fucks the back of his seat or something like that. Like yeah. that's so weird. Like yeah. why do you? I want, I like I like to think that they think the have car you, is talking back to you. You heard about that that sexuality? I forget what it's called now. It's the it's uh where people get off from like the environment from like laying down and oh, feeling like yes. mossy rocks and yeah. they just get off on that. Yeah, I have heard you know. I, think you I don't know if that. that's. I don't want to. I don't. Hmm. I feel like it's a fetish. Yeah. yeah, like like you can include a person in on that, like like touch this moss with me. Yeah, you know. Yeah, like sexuality is kind of like well, you know. I'm only down with there's this. There's this type of there's this what? type of individual. Yeah, you know. But like, but like, Mother Nature is my individual. That's a fetish, right? Ooh. That's a fetish. Honestly, <laughs> that's a fetish. Yeah, yeah. Anyone I'll, out? I'll anyone that. out there? Uh, oh, what's the name of it? Challenge me on it. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I, you're, you're you're out there fucking trees, and you and you think it's a sexuality? Put it in the comments. Mm -hmm. I would love to hear your pitch because you could probably change my mind if it's convincing enough. But if not, you just got a fetish, and I'm not gonna say it's it's not a it's like ecosexual. Mm, ecosexual. See, you're branding yourself wrong, and uh, prove me that I'm that I don't think, and I'll I'll change the idea. But I I think you're branding yourself wrong. It's just yeah, you're you're you can be like there's there's you're shutting doors. Yeah. You're closing doors on yourself. Yeah, like it's I got nothing yeah. more to say about yeah. that. Honestly, it's that's what you're totally right. I yeah. just think you get you're you're sexually attracted to a I a guess the thing mossy is mossy rock. Is that what they're basing it off of though? Is because it's not an inanimate <coughs> it's not an inanimate object. It's a living thing since they are plants. Okay, but like we're Maybe. Not, we don't call like what did you what was it called? Ecosexual. An ecosexual. We don't call that we don't call like like a beast is sexual, you know. You're right. We no, talk like, about like call it bestiality. 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 Yeah. You're very right. So, so based on that concept, you're like a, like a, I don't know. Like I understand a, what you're going like through. Like an earthality yeah. or something like that. You're, mm -hmm. you're, you're, yeah. in the, you're in that genre. Because if Mother Nature would like could talk back, I would. I mean, it'd be like, hold up, I didn't whoa. consent to this. Yeah. And then <laughs> yeah, it would I take would you imagine. to court. It would take you to court. It would sue you. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. There was there was no no consent there going was no on there. Consent. No. no, Mother Earth. You just took not. advantage of Mother Nature and just feel, sitting there. And that's like, terrible. That's terrible. That's See, terrible. That's yeah. where if you label it as a fetish, then it's not terrible. No. Mm -mm. Yeah. Well, well, well. Is it? It's still no consent. It's, well, it's still weird. But Come on. on <laughs> Come on. Based on this concept, by what you just said, like like, are you consenting of bestiality? Hell no. Well then, don't be consenting of raping Mother Earth. Yeah, exactly. If it can't tell you it wants to do it I back, am? don't do it. I don't know. It's, it sounded like you were going for it. No, 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 no. I'm saying that if that's what we're going to label this shit as. Yeah. God damn it, you you say it good. sounded like he was going for it? I don't know if it went that far. I well, was we not. Could, we could, viewers could play it back and hear it out. I hope there's, not. There's a little bit of wordplay in there that you might have caught yourself on. But but we've cleared it up. If anything, I'm trying to be the devil's advocate. This podcast should be one long Snapchat. You play it one time and it disappears. It's gone. That'd be crazy. Well, like for all those hardcore fans out there listening to this for the fifty seventh time, dismiss that, <laughs> <laughs> or remember it the first time because it was good, and you remember good things. Hell yeah! I got a question for you, real quick though, hmm. that I wanted to talk about. Lay it on me. Where the fuck do hamsters come from? Mm. Because we, I've only ever seen them in Petco. They are uh, or pet smart. miniature wombats. Where? Are, no, no, they're not. Yes, they're hamsters. No, no, no. Where is the hamster? I'm trying to see. No, imagine this. I'm trying to see a field full of 
running hamsters, just having a great time. A little family of hamsters, you know? See, they're like, they got like holes in the field and they're like running around doing yeah. their hamster thing. Maybe like a couple of them like started a band, you know, like a nice little folk band. Like one's on like the keyboard. Tapping like, the little hamster feet. Yeah, one's like on a cello, the other one's on a banjo, you know, they're having a good time. Like I've never seen that. I've only ever seen them in... I feel you know? like they only become hamsters when they enter the pet store. Otherwise, they're just field mice. Oh. But they look different. And they're very fluffier. Uh, well, so maybe seen... they are Arctic field mice. <laughs> There's all the Arctic fields. Hamsters were first discovered <laughs> in, in the s- Arctic. <laughs> so there, there is an origin. They were wild. Okay. Hamsters were first discovered in Syria. Wow. Though they also live in Greece, Romania, Belgium, and northern China. So not in, it's not... Uh, Near the North Americas, South okay. Americas, Canada's. I wouldn't run upon them. We brought no. hamsters. Someone was like, those guys over there are going to like these things. And then yeah. they brought them, and we fucking loved them. Yeah, yeah, we really did. Check them mm-hmm. out, They're huh? everywhere. Mm-hmm. That was a hell of an investment. There are over did. 20 species of hamsters, actually. No, there's not. Mm-hmm. And wild hamsters are found throughout much of Europe and Asia, pretty much. Man. And they, and they're nocturnal. Shout out to Eddie Van really? Hamster. Mm-hmm. You were the best hamster I've ever had. Eddie Van Hamster? Eddie Van Hamster. I've only had one hamster, but he R. was the R. best P. one. R.I.P. Yeah. He was a good guy. Yeah, he went through a lot. He dr- he almost drowned. Well, he, he was drowning. Didn't your cat eat him? Mm. Yo, I, I had yeah. some neighbors <laughs> that were the yeah. worst with hamsters. They were the worst with they these little, went these little rodents. <laughs> they went, went through them. They went th- oh, that's a terrible It's thing. terrible. It was like. <laughs> but I'm like groceries. They averaged, they averaged <laughs> about four a year. Oh. The concept was crazy. I was like, "Stop giving them." They didn't stuff. buy. They didn't have to buy food for the hamster. They just had to buy a new hamster. They tried to wash a hamster in a bathtub. Oh no. Okay, a hamster needs like a quarter inch of water. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They put it in a bathtub. They put it in the ocean. Right, yeah, it but in- <laughs> there it goes. Let's go wash itself. It's there's. <laughs> Do they just like like they take it, it like bad. it's a ball and, and I was kind of pushing the water like that to soak it out? Oh, that's terrible. I was a kid too, and I, I was just so unsettled by it. They tried to like let their hamsters play outside, and it would escape over to the dog, and that that. How ended. do you find that? You you don't. The oh, dog the dog finds it. Dog and, does. Yeah, and it finishes it. Yeah, it's true. You find dead hamster. Yeah, like I yard. feel like if I I wouldn't leave. I wouldn't put my hamster outside. No. Sadly, a hamster stays in the cage or your palm. Yeah. Hey, a little yeah. maybe a, maybe a desktop. Yeah. You know, with, with like a, snack. a little fence. You know. Yeah, a little, keep little, it safe. Give well, him a Milky keep Way. It, to keep it. Give, Milky him, give way. him a little Milky Way little in there. Milky way. I think it'll be go. okay. Yeah. I don't know what a hamster's diet. I'm pretty sure it's like grains and grass. Or Snickers. No, I'm sure it's Milky Way. <laughs> I'm sure it's only Snickers and Milky Way. Milky no way. Snickers. Are Snickers and Milky Way from the same company? Those are fucking competitors. I don't know. But are are they, they the same bar? I mean, they're competitors. They're not the same they're bar. Not the same they have bar. different Snickers stuff has it. peanut, caramel, and nougat. And Milky Way only has nougat and caramel? Yeah. There's no peanut. It has nougat? Yeah, there's a bottom, there's a small layer of nougat on the bottom. What's the stuff in Butterfinger then? That is peanut butter. That's peanut brittle or something like that? Peanut or toffee? No, peanut butter toffee? Peanut toffee? Like, yeah. I've never seen any other thing in that like consistency. Yeah. That texture. It's almost kind. like a wafer but not like a like a weird crunch pastry. I think it's like layered toffee. It's fucked or it. caramel breaks apart like crazy you it can't take great. a bite of, you gotta it's take a brittle. bite of it with your hand underneath it, it you is make great. crumbs you crumbs like crazy. i love a good butterfinger mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. man favorite candy bar hit me with it right now favorite Get candy it. bar done uh oh henry what oh, and yeah. oh motherfucking henry oh huh? henry man oh henry's are so good they got because they put the full-on peanuts and they put it like on top of it really oh it's nice and it's always really big and it's fun to say oh, oh henry, henry. See what I mean? That was good. I like mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. What about you? What's your favorite candy bar, Sam? You know, hmm. I'm going to have to say 100 grand. I've never had one. What? Yeah. I've never had 100 grand before. I yeah. love 100 grand. Yeah. Really? What's in it? What's it? What is it? Every 100 grand. Rolled Dude. up, rolled up into every bite. <laughs> mm. And you guys just eat the it? The most expensive candy it's bar It's got to be. Have. <laughs> Why have you used that money to what's buy other it? things? Okay. <laughs> what's the crunch it? in a crunch bar? Oh, it's that. It's yeah. that. It's it the that. whole thing is covered in that crunch. Mm-hmm. Like the little, the little like yes. dots. Yes. Like yeah. the little like yeah. pebble. Yeah. The whole hundred grand bar is covered in that, and the inside is like a oh. a caramel. Uh, it's a thick caramel though. It's not like the Rollo caramel where like it, it was the Rollo caramel thick. The Rollo caramel thick. It is like the Rollo caramel. 
Oh man, that sounds it's so really, good. It's really chewy. Yeah, dude. I'd like to try that. You one need a hundred gram bar, and they come in two small bars. Mm-hmm. You so, get in you one really pack because like, eating one is is enough. Yeah, and then you can save. Yeah, the other you one save the other later. one. That's nice. That's always like I love it when Twix does that. Mm-hmm. No, you know? Twi- I eat yeah. both Twix. I every have time. to eat both Twix. You eat both Twix? Sometimes. Yeah. Well, I like when they yeah because I open the whole packet yeah, and I, I eat it. Yeah, like that. I get stick like a candy yeah. bar. I don't know how in the commercials they only bit one. No. Like, huh? Like you eat them both at the same time. Mouth. You like you can eat. Both Twix at the same time. That's what you do. You grab both those Twix yeah. and you take a bite and of that you take shit. A bite. Do you do that with Kit Kat bars too? Yeah. Yeah, man. You need to be deported the fuck out of this. Dude, country. I don't I don't take a break of that Kit Kat bar. <laughs> That's dude. literally the instructions, man. I don't. You have to take a break. Break no. me off a piece of that, that Kit Kat bar. But they want you to like they want you to eat all of it. In one bite. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Please eat the whole fucking Kit Kat bar. <laughs> The Twix one isn't like, eat me at one of a time. Like, no, it doesn't say that. I don't even eat know if they have a, a di- slogan. It's like actually, Twix 1 and like... Twix 2. Left, right, t- right, left Twix, right Twix. I think that's it's, what it is. It's actually more like it's more like for the Kit Kat bars. I think it's... they do do that. Hmm. They separate left Twix and right Twix. They, mean, they say that separated. in the commercials. They are separated. Well, yeah, but It'd like. It would be nice if they put like a little indent of an L and an R on each one. That would be cool. Whoa. Or like a cape. But what if you opened up the other way around? Oh, they'd be upside down. Then they yeah. would, yeah. Or one day you get two L's. No, that would be no, crazy. No, 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 okay with no, that. no. Why not? No, can you only no. eat with your left hand? Yeah, you got you one with your right hand, one with your left hand. Monster. You hold them like this. Well, with the Kit Kat bar, also with the breaking <sighs> off a piece of that Kit Kat bar is almost like, uh, hey, I see that you bought one. Give me a free piece. You know, mm-hmm. it's almost like share. And don't. oh, so it's like a. It's they like a, want people to share their Kit they Kat want bar. People, they want people to share and not have to buy a full Kit Kat So bar. they're talking about, they're talking about, like, uh, interactive advertising. Mm-hmm. That's what they're talking about. Mm-hmm. Interactive advertising. Where they, they have the person that bought the candy bar advertise their Kit Kat bar without having to do anything. They're telling people to break off a piece of their Kit Kat, Kit Kat bar and Kit give Kat it to someone bar. else. That's I mean, basically, like, all of streetwear. You know, you buy a T-shirt with their logo on it, but it's like, oh, I thought you were about to be like, rip me off right. a piece of that shirt. Rip me off a piece of that shirt. T-shirt of that shirt, man. Bar. Give me some of that brand. <laughs> Give me some of that T-shirt brand. Hey, can I just have half of that swish? Rip, rip my T-shirt, please. Half of that swish. Half of that swish. Just half of the swish. Just half, half of the swish. swish. You're talking about like the Nike, like a Nike like swish. swish. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, yeah. What if there was little tabs on the bottom? Yeah, like, like rip what? off. There like, is. Hey, you can grab it. What kind of clothing is that? And then you go here, take a little. Uh, rip, take it off. Here you Nike go. Nike actually has that now. They have you can. They have customizable no. swooshes on the side of their. Uh, their oh, like I thought she meant they had rip tags. No, like like just be... there's like like there's like six or seven back tags to your shirts. What are those called? Back tags. Like hang tags. Hang tags. You have like twelve, and you can rip them off and give them to people. That's like business cards, and be like, "Go oh, here, check out this new brand called Nike." Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> no one has ever heard of it. Yeah, check it out. Here's their website. Yeah. Or it'd be like, <laughs> it'd be like, it'd be like, it'd be like called Nike. It'd be like discounts. <laughs> it's the it'd be like ten percent off. Oh. And then you'd be like, you, but you, you, but you, you couldn't use your own. How would they? How, how would they like Whoa. even? That's crazy. That'd be a cool marketing technique if people want to just take the tags. Yeah, we said shirts. it. Hit us up if you use it. Uh, I don't yeah, know we if it said works it like that. All right. I said it first. I said it first. I, <laughs> I said it first. You hear that, Nike? We said it first. We said it first. <laughs> yeah. All right. Coupons and hang tags. Didn't they yeah. have one where you scan it with your phone? Oh, that was their jerseys. That was a QR code. That was their jerseys. They they sold jerseys, and you scan it with your phone, and then it'll show you, like, highlights of the player and, like, tapes of their wow. flipping, you know, highlights of the oh, season. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. But QR codes just didn't last long. It wasn't a... They're still around. They're they, around. They have the snap codes They're now, there. which are a lot more... Prominent, I'm gonna say. Are Wait, they? the one, the QR code is the one with like the little All pixels. Little dots. Like, so yeah, my homeboy got a, that tattooed no. on his arm. I swear on my life, his name is Shafiq, the same guy who tattooed, uh, who designed this tattoo on my left arm. Yeah. Um, great guy, by the way. Shout out Shafiq. Yo, uh, Shafiq. Shafiq. I went to Shafiq. Yeah, Shafiq. The yeah. same Shafiq. Are we I, talking about Shafiq? I only know one. I know one Shafiq too. And he's probably him. Yeah. It was That's the same crazy. Hometown. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. From like Costa Rica or some shit. I don't remember actually. I don't he's, exactly know where he's from. Costa Rica, dude. Maybe. Probably. Right, anyway. Anyways. Hit me with it. Um, How do you go to Costa Rica and end up in Brentwood? Damn. I think it's a parent. Parents. I don't know. I ended up in Brentwood from Canada. I yeah, ended up. Seems in like Oakley, a little bit more reasonable but, though. Does it? Yeah. How so? Mm, neighboring country. I guess you're right. Anyways, <laughs> he got it uh, tattooed on his arm, and it's to his website. 
<laughs> which is pretty cool. Timeless. Yeah. Or is it? I don't know. Hopefully. You got to keep paying for the uh, GoDaddy. <laughs> you have to keep paying yeah, for your tattoo? <laughs> for the, no, for the one. Yeah, well, pretty much. It's forever. Oh, man, that's crazy. This tattoo will expire unless I keep paying for this. He has to keep paying for, for the, the website. Uh, for the, the website. Yeah. Or I won't. Yeah. Or else I'll say this page is expired. Yeah, that's what will happen. <laughs> this tattoo will be expired. No. Be no. Have you seen that new thing where you, you buy, like, you know how you have like the like the um, clothes boxes where you buy it monthly, like you pay for the subscription of like boxes. Oh and yeah, they where send they send you, you clothes. But are you supposed to send those right. back? Right. Okay. So what you keep, you pay for. That's but weird. what you don't want, you send back. Okay. So oh, is that how that works? Yeah. Huh. So, but you like you, you know okay. they send you boxes monthly. Yeah. Um, of like your style or whatever. So they have one now for temporary tattoos. Somebody oh. took the temporary tattoos to a new level. Where you get these patches of ink, put it on your arm, and rub this cloth over it, and then in 24 hours it'll show up as a tattoo and stay there for like a couple months and slowly fade what? away. What? Yeah. It's not really? a bad idea. It's not a bad yeah. idea if you really want to try out a tattoo. Like exactly. If, you cover, if you're covered in ink, then you would probably already commit to getting tattoos. If you're covered in ink, then you don't really need to try on one. I feel like that's kind of like an impulsive decision impulsive decision that people do. Yeah. I, I feel like the idea of trying out tattoos is I a think it'd be weird. weirder that all these are I just like that's weird. Right? Are, they're you know, they're just like like general would tattoos. Buy, would you buy a jacket? Well, no, you would. Yeah. You buy yeah. a jacket with without like walking around for a few months. Yeah. I think it'd be better if you but could you send take, in take your off. own designs that you want and then they send you a copy of it that you could try on if you want to do that. They do that. They have a place that does that. Really? Yeah, if you go online, I forget the name. So you can just try out and see if you want this tattoo for Because like long? having just a general tattoo design like that everyone is getting sent out. Yeah. You know, like be terrible. That's weird. Yeah. You know how many times it's like one bird. You're like, oh, okay. You know how many times in my life I've seen like those like those like Thick black line roses or, yeah. or knives well, yeah. or daggers. You know, they have a fucking them. barcode. Yeah. Everyone, Shout out to all those people that do it. Yeah. Mm. Uh. Every, yeah. Eh, well, you know. <laughs> Everyone just fucking picking tattoos. They do what they do. Sometimes, you know. Yeah, you know. History repeats. I have itself. no tattoos. I am. I am blank canvas. I got two. Yeah. For future me. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just not financially secure enough to tattoo my skull. That's right. The skull yeah. tattoo. And I'm, That's I cannot so cool. wait. I just don't think you should put bumper stickers on a Lamborghini. Oh, you sound like my fucking mom. <sighs> Killed it. Get him out of here. Somebody take a walk. That's. <laughs> you guys want to take a walk? Go ahead. Just talk to Tyler then. What Facebook meme did you find that from? Yeah, it was like a uh, old uh, dad. White dad well, joke. It's because yeah. website. Well, it's old Tyler, white dad dad jokes dot com. It's because Tyler the creator was putting shit on his cars and people were getting mad. Hmm. There was like a whole thing about it. Oh, when he put bumper stickers and stuff on. No, it? he was putting like just stickers oh, on his yeah. fancy cars his and he was like, "I got money. Why are you? Yeah, why are you people I would care? do it too if I. Had, I don't like putting stickers on my cars in general because all stickers aren't made for cars and they're stupid. <laughs> if you're gonna make a car sticker, make a car sticker. Well, you know the you know the decal? ones that aren't you mean a decal. Well, like a bumper sticker. You know a bumper sticker is a bumper sticker, but they're always made with that stupid sticker that always leaves the rest, like that that paper residue on your car. Yeah. You know? Well, that's why when you put this bumper sticker on, you got to commit. It's like a tattoo. Your whole life, you got to keep that bumper sticker your on that car. car life. Your whole car life. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, like, car stickers suck now because, like, I got, I because of my car sticker, I almost got caught by the police because of it. Well, I did get caught by the police because of it, but ever since then, I've well, never. What did your car sticker say? Well, it didn't just, say anything an bad. It was identified oh, because it out of it. between all the other four. Yeah, yeah. you know, you know, like when, like you know, regular day running from the cops, gotta do your thing. They found my car because of that. They like they can they did. So I'm like I couldn't hide anymore. I was like I got this huge ass sticker on the back of my truck. Yeah, that's Everyone's the gonna be able to see it. That's the downside. And and I couldn't hide no more. Now so you just blend in. So you get like tattoos. You get big scars. You get like weird. That's the way to do Marks it. on your face just or your body. In. They'll know. They'll mm-hmm. be like the dude with the black dots on his eyeball. Like, yeah, face know. tattoos, mm-hmm. man. Those are just those just pop. Like you're you just want to be like, hey, what's up? Like you I don't want a face tattoo. Yeah, there's a rapper that I saw who has Anne Frank tatted on his <laughs> cheek. Damn, not even kidding. Anne Frank. That's crazy. Like the legitimate portrait of her. Who's the rapper? Uh, can't tell you. Unfortunately. Shout out to can't tell you. Unfortunately. Yeah. Mm, killing it. Killing it, Anne Frank tattoo. Mm-hmm. Man, I wish I could actually find out the name. If it's on your face, like you better make him. sure that's a good tattoo. Mm-hmm. You know, they aren't often. 
portraits? No, good. Oh. Good face tattoos. I for for me, I was never like a big fan of face tattoos, but now like if you have them in a nice if you have them in like a pattern mm-hmm. in yeah. a sense, I sometimes I'll be like that's kind of cool. It'll look all right. Yeah, but like if you just kind of have like a random ass one. Shout or, out or shout like out that. to Soul Eater, uh the Immortal with the no future tattoo as an eyebrow. Oh, I really? like it. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Mhm. Dang. Mm-hmm. As an eyebrow? Like, yep. that is his eyebrow? Yeah, it's his eyebrow. That's an anime, by the way, for everybody that, that doesn't cool. know. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> nice, nice. Spread the word. Yeah. That's cool. That yeah. was a rapper. <laughs> yeah, I like <laughs> the, it sounds, right? Shout out to Soul Eater with the no future. Soul Eater. Soul yeah, Eater, the immortal too. with the tattoo across his eye no future. Sure. Sound like a Tech 9 type of I guy. I feel like that's about to be my rapper name. Soul Eater. Soul Eater, Soul a.k.a. Immortal. immortal with a no future tattoo Soul on my Eater, eyebrow. The Love immortal. that full sentence. Yeah. Sick. It has to be. Yeah, every single time I'm called out. Hey, what's going on? I'm Soul Eater, aka uh, No Future with No. What is it? AKA already the up. Immortal. I already messed it up. AKA the Immortal. AKA the Immortal. Yeah. No Future tatted on my eyebrow. Yeah. As my eyebrow. Yeah. I can't say your name. Don't ask yeah. me to announce you. No, it's okay. I will never. Good. Mm. Yeah. Good. Glad we got that taken care yeah. of. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was real easy. <laughs> what would your rap name be? Uh, slippery Slopes. Why? Because my slopes are slippery, and don't step on them because you're gonna slip. They're slippery like and they're that. slopes. I like so that. So watch out. I like that. That's a good one, actually. Yikes. Nice, nice. Yeah. Yeah. I thought a long time for about that. About <laughs> since you asked me to that moment three right seconds then. Ago. <laughs> for, that, for that three minutes of thought. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I would only sing about uh, pomegranates, rap about them, and sing. I'd be a singer slash rapper. You could have so many songs about it. Yeah. You'd have Deceeds, Deceeds. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Deceeds. Pomegranny. Pomegranny. <laughs> Is my granny? You would have you'd have juice, red staining juice, 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 pomegranate juice. Strictly rap songs about hey, can pomegranates. So, can we slippery can we, slopes? Slippery slopes. Hey, catch me on iTunes. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out. Yeah. Mm. We'll, we'll have the picture of like a palm tree and granite next to each other. I can, I can yell shout out to myself, right? Yeah. Yeah. Always. Shout out slippery slopes. Shout out slippery slopes. Damn. Bring out. If you, every slippery slope show, people just bring pomegranates mm, to it. They throw them at me. They just, hurt yeah. so bad. I'm not thinking about. Like, I wish you picked a too. softer fruit. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and one that better. doesn't stain your all white outfit that you always. Can I always. It's gonna make you look super bloody. Everything yeah. on stage is always white. Always white, so people can throw the pomegranate juice out there. Oh, it hurts so bad. <laughs> yeah, but now this is starting to sound really cool now. Actually, yeah. this oh, is like great. this is a great show yeah. now. Slippery You're, slopes. They encourage people. To We're break. on like a slippery slope, like an Arctic white. Snowy slope, and you know what I'm saying. We and got, you're slipping around and through it, slipping around and, and dodging throwing. the pomegranates mm-hmm. like dodgeball, mm-hmm. and that's the whole show. Done. And we're 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 rapping and singing about nonsense. That no pomegranates. Well, it's pomegranates. So it's a give and but, take though. It's a give and take though. All the pomegranates you know, are being yeah. thrown on stage, but you're blasting pomegranate juice out into the crowd. Oh yeah, it's like a yeah, it's a give and take. It's a give oh, and take. It's man, a huge drain. It's a slippery it. slope into a huge fucking yeah. blender the that the pomegranates just and it shoots them back out of the crowd. So throw your pomegranates, crowd, because I'm shooting them back at That's you. That's right. That's right. It's a guarantee. Slippery slope guarantee. <laughs> that can, is crazy. My slopes are so slippery. What's up? <laughs> I'm I'm jumping off of this from the pomegranate juice, and I started thinking of juice. Yeah. And what's the difference between juice and sauce? No, I mean you know. it in, in like slang. You you know. In slang terms. In slang terms. So like he got the juice and he got the sauce. The yeah. sauce and the okay. juice. Okay. Well, the quote, like to start off this, the quote, the good great Gucci Mane. Mm-hmm. Um, some you can be born. You have to be born with the sauce. Mm-hmm. Okay. You can't acquire the sauce, mm-hmm. and you, you have to have sauce, but you can't have too much sauce. Because mm-hmm. then you'll get lost in the sauce. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. So, AK, okay, you get lost in yourself? No. Yeah, well, yeah. You get lost in yourself. You got to have too much sauce. So, you have to yeah. boss the sauce. Okay, you have to be then, the boss of the sauce. Okay, be okay. the sauce boss. Boss okay. your own sauce. Okay. And juice. Mm-hmm. Juice is like. Juice. Juice is. Juice is a quick thing. I got juice. This juice. I got it's, juice. It's a quick thing. Yeah. Like, I'm going to go do something real well, quick. Well, okay. So, I'm gonna go, so, juice. I'm going to go, like. Take a piss real juice. You put your juice in the fridge. Okay. Right? Yeah. That's where you put it. Okay. How fast does juice go? Quick. How long does sauce stay? Long. That's what I was coming from. That's what I was coming from is I saw a meme a little while ago, and I might have sent it to y'all, is there was a guy talking about how juice, juice is something that's temporary. It's like a car, really good clothing, a watch, or something like that. Something quick. Something quick, something flashy, but you can be taken away. Boom. 
Juice the sauce, sauce, sauce stays with around. them. So that was the metaphor right there is you put some like Minute Maid in your in your fridge, it's gonna be a few days. But you got barbecue sauce in there, it's gonna stay around for a few months. Okay. Yeah. Now can, uh, using that logic, mm-hmm. um, going back to Gucci Mane's quote mm-hmm. yeah. of not getting lost in the sauce, yeah. mm-hmm. what what would that mean? You now, have see, too much sauce. You can have too much sauce. No, but I don't know. I Imagine a fridge full of sauce. Which yeah, one do you you'd choose? have no juice. That's right. You'd have no juice, and which sauce would you choose? So there's juice, too many sauce. So- there's too much sauce. Juice is essential in a sense. You but need a little juice, but you also need a good amount of sauce. You always need a good amount of sauce. Even if you're not going to use all the sauce. Now here's the thing: you it's use you- little amounts of sauce, but it makes a huge difference. Yeah, I think a lot of the times you're born with the ingredients for sauce, and a lot of people just making juice. Damn, that's deep. That is deep. They got the bone with the ingredients to make sauce, but they're just making juice. People mm-hmm. are just making juice. Yeah, and they just, they drink it. They just drink the they juice. It's gone. It. Yeah, get yeah. another bottle of juice. Learning how to make sauce juice is a up lot real quick. It's a you, lot harder. We all know how to make uh, juice. I know how to make juice right now. I only know how to make having like two sauce sauces. is like. I don't know how to make like. Yeah, I don't think you know how to make any sauce. I, I can mix two different sauces together to make to a buy new those sauce. Sauces. Yeah. yeah, I do. You can do. buy things and make juice. I do, but you don't know how to make things into sauce. No, I mm-hmm. can't. Mm-hmm. That's pretty crazy. And that's where it's at. Mm-hmm. Take your time, everybody. Wow. Learn how to make sauces. Sauce it up. We really just It'll dropped a goddamn you. gem on this right now. We're yeah. gonna have to start charging people to listen to this. Like this is that was dude. That was incredible. Yeah. Sauce. Mm-hmm. That was Salt. saucy. Salt. That was sauce. That's right. gonna stick. Mm-hmm. Sauce. You're gonna keep that in my fridge for a while. Sauce. 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 <laughs> okay, yeah, we got it. Yeah, we did got I, it. Did I get it? I didn't know it was I think a thing. you said, you you said it, it again. Are we ready? Yeah. We're, no, we're done. We, yeah, we're we did it. Yeah, we said it. We're past it. I'm always so fucking late to the party, You're a little bit late there, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was a fun time. Full of sauce. Where was I? With the juice. You were I was busy making juice, dude. Mm-hmm. 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 Hey. what's going to happen to you, man. You know. It's all right. It's all right. I stay saucy. But I like my juice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I need mm-hmm. a little juice mm-hmm. for its vitamins and because it's better than water. Whoa. The taste. Well, okay. Yeah. All right, now, hold on. Well. Hold on now. I love the taste of juice. No, but I know, when but you wake up in the morning. Hungover as hell. And you apple juice. You don't want a big sit. You want that cold, Bro. refreshing mountain you want that, spring. Yeah, you want that. I thought you were going to say Mountain Dew, and I was like, wow, Ooh. that got crazy. It wasn't exactly Cold, that refreshing way. Mountain, mountain Dew. Dew in the morning. <laughs> Hit up the Mountain Dew. Do I don't drink you, but send me some stuff. Yeah, you too, Kit Kat. Since we sang your damn song. Yeah. Bring me up a piece of that Kit Kat box. Now we need two boxes. Now we need two boxes. <laughs> yeah. That's well, crazy. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat box. I don't. They're, they're no, not gonna keep giving us boxes not, <laughs> every time you not, say it. Doesn't work that way. Right. That's a contract <laughs> thing that happens. Oh man. Yeah, two at the most. Just like how uh, I don't know her name at this minute. What was that famous singer? Beyonce. Yeah. With the Pepsi. That's right. Oh, that's right. With the Pepsi thing. Yeah. yeah. I read your mind. Thank you. I looked at your brain and I Thank saw you. Beyonce singing to it. a crowd of people. <laughs> yep. She drinking was like, Pepsi. I'm drinking Pepsi. Only fucking Pepsi. Did and we already like, talk about this already? I don't this? think so. I think we did. I think we did. That's why I thought of it. Did we? It's only the fourth episode. Yeah, we've talked about a lot of things. <sighs> I guess we have. Hey. What are you it's a about? lot, dude. It's, it's a not, whole thing. It's not only. It already gets to be the fourth episode. We're having a great time. I'm having a I'm great having time. A great mm-hmm. time. We're out here giving away condos, donating tons of money to mm-hmm. charities all around the world. We are doing I've that. Personally, bred a thousand puppies. Yeah, I've seen a mm-hmm. moose online. You ever heard of World Hunger? Done. Done. Gone. Gone. Because of this podcast. The aliens taken care of. You seen it anymore? No. Pirates? Done. No. Well, sometimes. I mean, come on. Well, the good pirates. The good pirates can, like, there's, like. Dude, there are still pirates. There are still pirates. That's true. Oh, yeah. Are you talking about, like, the Somali pirates? (laughs) Oh, those are crazy. What other pirates? Blackbeard? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) No, he's not coming from the depths. I'm talking about Captain Hook, bro. Not yet, at least. But Blackbeard's coming back. Blackbeard's coming back. I and mean, that had to be a hard life back in the day. Why? You had to be a pirate? Terrible dental, for one. Oh, absolutely. You're on the ocean. You're on the ocean. You in had a wooden boat. Scurvy, all that gangrene going on. Mm-hmm. I know, but you're just having a great time. I don't think so. I think you're mm-hmm. desperate 
trying to kill people yo, for the oh, basic yo, supplies. Yo, oh, pirate life supplies. for me. I, I feel like that's what, time. I don't think they were getting booty. They were getting, like, wine and water and meat, just trying to keep going. They say they're getting booty all the time. No, yeah. no, the songs from the movies say they're getting booty all the time. The, those are from actual pirate ships. Nah, uh, but uh, yes. it's, like the grim, <laughs> it's like the grim fairy tales kind of thing. Except pirates are real. Mm-hmm. And so is their booty. So, so are the lessons <laughs> they talked about in Grimm's Fairy Tales, but then they became just like in, in The Three Bears, uh, what's that blonde chick's Goldilocks. name? Goldilocks gets eaten. Well, yeah, it serves her right. She broke into their house, broke to their yeah, chairs, and then yeah. ate their food, slept in their bed. But then that's taken away, and then she just gets to like, leave. Hey, that's messed up. Think about yeah, that. No, it is. No, that's she, messed up. She should up. absolutely get eaten. One, yeah, it's no. they're, they're bears. They are bears. So then, so. so then like it's, it's, it's translated. So like, Break into a house. Yeah. You get to do your thing. She takes a nap. She leaves. Everyone's like, oh, how could that happen? Right? It used to be like she got eaten. Booty used to be like just basic survival needs, and now it's glorized as treasure. Mm. You know? You know? Mm-hmm. I see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they weren't actually looking for treasure chests. They were like, we just need food and water. We just need that water that's not sea salt. Yeah. And we would love some mead. So, then so why, why would they think... And they think that was like the only lifestyle choice that they thought you they know, had. I'm sure, I feel I'm like sure they, treasure I'm sure they, was. I'm a sure thing. treasure, like when they like they landed, they raided a town. Yeah, they took all the valuables. Done treasure booty booty. You know. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if it was that. I don't know if it was the term was innately pirate or if it was added on later. The word booty. Yeah. Damn, is the word booty like uh, only from pirates? And it's really t- it's also into, about butts. I know, but like, has it slowly turned? <laughs> <into> <laughs> if, you did, if you didn't, if you didn't know, you didn't know. It's also about butts. No, but has it um, started off as pirates and then it's slowly turned into butts? Or is it two different directions Just of colliding. the same word? I feel like they collided. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I feel like they like butts and they like booty. Well, I'm trying to think of the first person who referred to a butt as a booty. Who was that? Uh, pirates. Get your booty They saw the here. treasure. Oh, there's treasure. <laughs> that. that ass is booty diamonds. Is, I know. Booty is treasure. Amen to yeah. that. I feel like booty's timeless. Booty is timeless. Yeah. 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 True. Priceless. I never understood the metaphor youth's eternal. Youth is eternal. But I get it now. How so? Is, you know, when you're young, you mm-hmm. see like this young, attractive girl. Mm-hmm. You're like, wow, I'm going to go talk to her, right? Mm-hmm. And as your years go along, you don't get the ability to talk to that young, attractive girl. But she will always technically be there. The young, attractive girl. Girl. Uh-huh. Oh. She's timeless. Damn. Mm-hmm. But not us. But not us. Mm-hmm. We're gonna get old. And not that and version of the attractive girl. Just the idea. The idea of it. Yeah. Huh. Mm-hmm. Crazy. So mm-hmm. wait. So are we? Are we in that phase now? Are we the young attractive girl right now? Yeah. Yeah. So we should probably soak do it up. S- we should do some shit, right? Uh, are we weird. wasting it away? No. no we just went laser tagging. We went we laser tagging, and we're podcasting. Yeah. And oh man, we're laser dropping an EP. Great. Laser tagging was great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was an experience. That and was I, we so will go fun. again. Shout out to Laser Tag Laser Island if you want to meet Laser Island heroes. over in uh, Fullerton. Yeah. I think that's it where, is. That's where we go. If yeah. you want to come uh, meet and greet with us, yeah. buy our tickets for us, please, and play some laser tag. Play some with laser us. tag with us. We'd love to answer your questions and shoot you with lasers. We'll kick your ass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I will. Uh, yeah, I will murder you in laser tag. Dom, Dom will run, shoulder check you, and then hit you on the ground. Yeah. While Sam is in prone stance in the back, and you don't see him the whole game. That's yeah. right. I'm bringing. Uh, uh, black tape to cover my lasers so get ready Damn. Mm. but you see the trail though what trail the trail of the laser the laser trail that's okay i'll just shoot it at light speed you gotta go quick like, tink, I, like every time sugar. it's light speed oh i love laser tag literally yeah. can, we go on, can we go on sunday i had some ideas oh yeah we can <laughs> we i had some sunday. ideas to make laser tag better though what do you got for me Tell well us. one one at that laser tag place i don't know laser tag across the board but you should not be able to shoot the gun and get points okay I don't know why. Yeah, that, no, that was I a didn't thing? like. That was yeah, a thing. shooting Your the gun, gun was a weakness. Yeah, it's like I could put my oh, gun around a corner. other people's gun. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't like that. Okay. Why not? Sh- well, because. Oh, because it's not even a. It's human. not me. It's yeah, my gun. It's my gun. I'm not part of my gun. I guess you're right. Now, I guess and, you are now, if you're in no, war. No, no, no. See, the thing is, in though, war, your gun will get fucked the thing up. Is, though, in war, you are your gun. But you're shooting at the speed of light. There should be a little bit of give there, because you can't dodge a laser. It's at the speed of light. But there is a little bit of give. There was no give. Dude, like you press you that mean? button, it's, it's already across. It's already the other side. Well, yeah, but before the I see before the laser hits your me, reaction it's going time. Off. Your reaction time. Yeah. Yeah. But as soon as that triggers triggered, 
That's true. It's, There's a laser it's, gun. It's a straight beam. I love it. It's mm-hmm. dope. Anything in that. So, like, I want to have, like, a small one on top of my head. Okay. I want the gun to not work like that. And I want a slightly smaller chest in back. The whole che- the whole piece was freaking. I know. A sensor. I know. I was yeah. just just blasting people. I hated people. being in the dark and then having my entire chest, chest light, light up like up. a yeah. fucking yeah. ET. I want to hide. What? Yeah, I, I look like hide. crazy. Look like the strip of Las Vegas walking down yeah. there. No, yeah. I was like, come on, if I gotta somebody hide. Was hiding, here. If somebody was hiding. I can see the little flashes in the corner. Yeah. I want a stealthy, scary game. I want a full warehouse. I yeah. want three times the size of that. And I want to climb things. Yeah, me too. I want to mm-hmm. climb things. I want to roll, and I want to scream cuss words at the top of my lungs. You still can. We did, we all, needed, we did all those things oh, we did. except for the. But I need, a, <laughs> I need like an adult laser tag. Yeah. Where, the gu- where so you pick fun. your guns. Yeah. It's got its range. Yeah, you don't have to hold it with two hands. Yeah. 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 Guy had a- Terminator mode on at the end, dude. I Freaking. know. That guy was crazy. Come on. He was like, I'm just going to blast these fools. Yeah, but he was actually a really fun factor. Yeah, we, did, we destroyed bit. him, though. He wasn't even that good. For the record, we got He was like, I do do this for the living. We got our last game. It was us three and then one of the workers. So we did a free for all with just four people and an entire laser tag match. It was pretty incredible. It was, it was incredible. I think I think Dom came out first. I won. Yeah, yeah the I wolf. think you did actually. The wolf. The wolf. I was like the rhino or something. I was baboon. The wolf. The baboon. Baboon. I was third. I, I was in last. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. I have only where place to go is up. I'm That's only true. gonna get a better laser tagger over here. Mm-hmm. Unless we had more people and you went lower. Yeah, that could also happen, which is. Kind of makes me sad now that I've thought I'm about it. So that. ready to go again. So ready to go again. I'm ready to go again too. Let's just I go paintballing. So Sam was saying he's so against paintballing before, right? And then he told me earlier. Mm-hmm. He said mm-hmm. with laser tag and he got to do all that stuff. He's like, now I just feel like I want to do paintball now. Yeah, because I want a better shot. Yeah, you, you want, want a better, better shot, shot yeah. and you want the more adrenaline. Yeah, but there's yeah, more but adrenaline. Laser, it's a bigger area. It's so much more expensive. It is at yeah. the start. At the start, once you get it all set up, it's pretty. Well, cheap. you could just rent everything rent at the place. Stuff. That's what I do. But yeah. how much? That's like sixty bucks. Yeah, I'm sure. But that's like yeah. for a day of paintballing. Dude. You get like opposed. A, you I'm get, not opposed. Though. You get tired, hours, dude. Though. You're done. I bet. Mm-hmm. I bet. I only need like. An you get hour. dirty. It's you fun though. Freaking wrecked, dude. Yeah. Wrecked. I'm oh it. man. I went for like my fifteenth birthday or something like that, mm-hmm. and I was I remember like just layering myself up just with clothes and hoodies yeah. and pants and stuff like that but i didn't do anything on my neck just left my neck exposed just didn't really think about it didn't think like people were gonna hit my neck i was very wrong very wrong i remember i got hit in the neck and i was next to my friend and i thought he slapped me in the neck for some reason that's what it felt like i was like what the hell dude and i hit him in the back of the <laughs> what leg the hell, dude? and he's like what i'm like why'd you hit me He's like, I did it. And then I touched my neck, and I just felt the paint and the broken oh, ball man. on it. And I was like, oh, no. Yeah, there's yeah. – it got me good. And then yeah. I had a huge ass – what it looked like a hickey. I got my neck. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I had to go to like – I think I was, in, I was in high school at the time. I had to go back and yeah. explain that to everybody. I'm like, no, make sure a, you cover up, dude. I was like, it's a paintball. They're like, no, that's a hickey. Yeah. I'm like, no, it's not. No, it's black. It's purple. Yeah. 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 So bad. Like, what kind of hit? Look, this looked like, like a fucking tiger would have given me a dude. hickey. You know what that happened to me a few times in high school where you get a hickey? It'd be so dark, and you were like, why did you vacuum cleaner my fucking skin? The one spot. The too. one spot. Yeah. Like, why would you not move around? Yeah. I mean, we were young, you know, hyper-focused. It just yeah. wasn't. It just wasn't a thing. Yeah, we didn't right, know, but yeah. like, and like hickeys, like for not saying you were, but for some people, hickeys were like a badge of honor. I fucking hated them. That was yeah. terrible. I was like, you make me bleed eternally. You popped my blood vessels. I didn't yeah. want that. No, I no. never was looking for. I'm one. like, where no. am I supposed to go with this? Everywhere I go, it's a thing. <laughs> I know, and everyone talks about it. It's, nothing positive comes out of it. No, no one's huh. giving you high fives for a hickey. No, no. <laughs> now <laughs> they were. <laughs> What's up, dude? You're like. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, bro. Yeah. Shut up. No. I'm trying to. I'm gonna wear a turtleneck tomorrow. Jeez. You know I enjoy turtlenecks. Yeah, me too. Man, turtlenecks are great. They're I nice. need to get more turtlenecks. Maybe a turtleneck sweater. You know what? I want to go extreme. I like those turtle turtlenecks with the scarf. A turtleneck oh. with the scarf. Yeah. You like, want to just double and up an overcoat and overcoat that winter game. Wow. On, on lock. On lock. Damn, lock. your neck would be so warm. Yeah. Damn, that warm sounds neck. nice. A it's warm one of the neck. It's one of my most vulnerable areas besides my crotch, so I want to keep it safe. Nice warm yeah, neck. Very true. Nice warm neck. What about what about uh, like turtle crotches? Nope. What'd you say? <laughs> turtle crotches. How does that like work? Like a turtleneck. Please explain more. But like uh, the, the 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 shirt like extends down. Yeah. Little little brace. Like well, is it? It's like, like a, an, it's like an almost it's a like sweater for your dick, is what you're saying? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 
okay. But it, now that you say it like that, though, it's a shirt. now I'm okay see, with see, it. It's a yeah. shirt. You put the shirt on, yeah, and it's like a onesie almost, but it just it just stops. slips over like yeah, a little. Well, yeah, over. the very bottom of it, there's like a, just a little like insert. Yeah, for you to insert, put it in. Yeah. And you just put it in. But just the head pops out because yeah. yeah. it's a turtle. It's yeah. a turtle neck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you can you can like open up your pants, still pee and stuff. But it keeps it's got, you warm. It's got little <laughs> sleeves. It's got, little <laughs> sleeves. <laughs> got little sleeves. You put your balls in there. Yeah. 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 Oh my God. Let's totally sell this. Nike, yeah. listening? Yeah. Hit us yes. up. Hit us up. Hit us up. This is a great idea. This is the I would imagine by uh, season two of our podcast, we'll have uh, like uh, this product out. Yeah. That would be great. Yeah. That should be like, if we ever that's get like a, like a merch store. That's, yeah, that, that's the know? first thing that's, that's coming up. That's the first thing we're doing is yeah. turtle, turtle crotches. crotches. Turtle crotches. Turtle crotches. Dick sweaters. Dick sweaters. <laughs> oh, man. That is great. They'll sell out quick. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they will. The biggest problem in this country is Not cold having. dicks. <laughs> you know, it's the least talked about. Yeah. I'm going to tell you but that. The largest <laughs> issue. The largest. It's large. just nobody wants to talk about it. Because well, you don't want to no, no you don't want to you don't want to sound like, you know, like, you know, hey, come on. You no don't want to have that conversation. Some, you, know, no. you don't want to be that guy. Just a little PSA to everybody out there. You know, the the talks that are most important are often the hardest. And if you could just sit down with your family and talk about uh, penile warming, mm. it would be greatly appreciated because you'll be doing the America, the America a favor. Mm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. You, if you're the first one, it's just only going to domino effect, mm-hmm. and we all need to talk about it. Mm-hmm. That's true. It's been too long too for long. us to live with these chili with cold penises. <laughs> yeah, I ain't down with no chili cocks no <laughs> Me more. Me neither. Let's go. You know. You know what? It's an outrage. It is an outrage. And I'm going to end it right here. I think this is a good – I think we should all end on this note. Let's uh, let's let's, let's keep this ball rolling. And um, cheers to a better tomorrow and a uh, warmer penis. Yes. Keep that penis warm, America. Thank you and good night. <laughs>